hey, what's up guys, Urban Turnip Kanto or some other guy here today. And uh, today we're just going to be doing a quick commentary uh, slash kind of like a shout out video. Uh, this should be going up on all three of my channels, uh, POA, Kanto, and Urban Turnip. Um, I do own the POA YouTube channel, I do own its rights, and the Twitter, in case you guys are wondering. Um, so, that should be going up on all of these. Uh, first off, let me give a quick shout out. Uh, if you like the art on the POA channel, the banner and the icon and the avatar and stuff, and you uh, like the Kanto art and stuff, that was made by my friend Andre. Uh, also, Mindsy, you could go find him and the link in the description. He makes great art and it's definitely worth the money. It's just the art's the same that he can make. He can literally do any job you've ever wanted him to. Like, he's been such a great help to me over the past with YouTube and, you know, he's just a really great friend and I really hope you guys go check him out and give his art a chance and stuff. Uh, now, what you're seeing in the gameplay is you're seeing me start off a little bad here. I believe I go 8 and 8, then I absolutely go off and I get a chem strike and. Towards the end of the video, the recording stopped, so I had to restart it, and that actually cost me a death, causing me to actually go, not negative, of course, but, like, over the 10 kills, uh, over the 10 line on the deaths. So that was kind of a bummer. But let's get into uh, what we're talking about today, and that is the sponsors. We're talking about sponsors first, I guess. Uh, we're, the clan is currently sponsored by two companies, uh, Cinch Gaming, uh, which they're, like, uh, kind of scuff competitor. Um, they make really great controllers, uh, basically scuffs with buttons instead of paddles. They're really nice though. They do have PlayStation 3 sticks instead of scuff sticks, so I kind of like that about them. I don't personally own one, but I, I have I've played with them before. Um, our second sponsor is No Scope Classes, and these, these by far have got to be just amazing as a sponsor. Just because, um, like, they're, they're a really cheap product, they're only like 20 bucks each, Security so like, I can feel like our fans would buy that, like, a Sims controller is like, uh, $200 or something, it's like, come on. But like, no scope glasses, like, they're only $20 each, they're a starter company, like, I actually, I'm getting a pair of glasses, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how, but I'm getting a pair of glasses from them, uh, which is gonna be really cool, I can try those out, can't wait for that. And we've already actually had somebody buy a pair of gl the glasses with the link, so I'm pretty hyped about that, actually. One of our fans has already bought a pair of glasses with the link. I don't know who did it, but thanks, man, I guess. Thank you. Shout out to him. Um, but that's sick. I can't wait to get my pair of glasses. That's going to be awesome. Uh, what else are we talking about here today? Um, I guess... Let's talk about a random topic here, I guess. I know I came in here with a schedule, but then I just forgot it. So let's talk about top five favorite video games of all time. Uh, I hope you guys leave this one in the comments section below. What is your top favorite five or top favorite three or even just your favorite? I would love to know and I would love to read that. Um, my top five, number five, probably GTA five. Uh, that was an all right game, I guess. Definitely reached my top five limits just because of all the things you can do in it. And I'm talking about the single player, not the multiplayer. The multiplayer was god awful and I hate anybody who likes it. Just kidding, you can have your opinion-based thoughts, but I just didn't like it, and please don't force me to like it. Um, my fourth favorite game, probably Pokemon Leaf Green. No, not Pokemon Leaf Green, Pokemon... No, I'm right, Leaf Green. I like Leaf Green. I uh, love Pokemon Leaf Green, it's my favorite Pokemon. I know people are like, oh, it's just a remake of the first one. Well, you know, I like the first one then too, whatever. Try that. Um, but I do love Leaf Green, that's gotta be my fourth favorite. Um, my third favorite video game? Probably Modern Warfare 2. I'm gonna have to go. Now, now I'm gonna go with World at War. Call of Duty World at War. I'm a huge World at War guy. Uh, World War 2 kind of buff. Uh, what me and my friend Jimmy like to talk about a lot. Um, so that was kind of like my, my third favorite game. That was like, when I was like 9, 8 years old and stuff, like that was my shit, dude. That was my summer vacation. That was just my life, dude. I love that game. You don't understand the, the good times I have with this game. Now it's just hacked to shit and it's not even fun anymore. So it's like, whatever. Uh, my second favorite game, probably Modern Warfare 2. Pretty great game. Uh, wasn't very good at that game, I'm not gonna lie. Then again, I was very young at the time. Uh, definitely not on the level I am now playing Call of Duty. But, um, I, I, I liked it just because I never really got any nukes on it until I went back and played it. Now that I'm older, I went back and played it uh, into non-hack lobbies, and I would get nukes, and that's always a great feeling when you get something like that. Like, that's what kind of brought in this gameplay, because it's like chem, and chem is basically like a nuke. Um, so, you know, that's kind of why I want to talk about a little bit in this gameplay. My number one game of all time has got to be Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This game was by far probably the best Grand Theft Auto game I've ever played. This game 
was amazing. And I still play it today. Whenever I get bored, I turn on my 360 or I'll just go on my PC because I have it for both because I'm that good of a fan. I have it for both. No, no, but seriously, that game is just insane. I love that game. The things you can do in that game, especially since on a PS2 also, that's just crazy to me, you know? It's like, oh man, that game was awesome. You could customize cars, you could do your laundry, you could mow the lawn, you could just do all that, dude. That was crazy to me. I believe right here I'm on like a 21 kill streak or something, and this is when I realized, hey, you're getting kind of close to a cam, you better kind of, you know, slow it down a little bit, you know, turn up the speed. I got that sweet kill, that was a close one. Really had my shots on today. This wasn't filmed today, by the way. Um, now, what else could we talk about? Um, the clan. We've decided. Uh, we took a two out of three vote because there's three leaders, me, Ricky, and Shay. Or Shy. That's the real name. But um, our vote was when Advanced Warfare comes out, we're going to be. And as you can see, I get the cam right there. And. I wish you could hear my voice because I was screaming as loud because everyone was in my room too at the same time and I was just like, S my D, suck my fucking dick. You know, I was screaming all that shit, dude. I was hyped. I just got a cam, like, real. That was like my fourth cam or something, my third cam maybe. Like, that's just cray. Um, but, um, the clan has come to a decision that, um, when Advanced Warfare comes out, uh, we're gonna split up with competitive team. Uh, partially because... Um, I'm on a higher level than our competitive team is right now, and I feel like I'm not actually progressing as a player of Call of Duty, and I know that sounds weird to you guys, but, you know, I'm only 16 years old, I do have a lot of potential for Call of Duty, uh, considering at the skill level I am now, I can definitely progress, and this team just isn't doing it for me right now, um, so we're still gonna practice in Ghost and stuff, we're still gonna be, uh, I mean, competitive in Ghost, but... We're looking to, for Advanced Warfare to be our time, and I'm we're going to split the competitive team. It's going to be Shy and Ricky moving over to a team, um, and I'm going to... Basically, POA is like America, so we're naming one team the Stars and one name, team the Stripes. So, Shy wanted the Stripes, I mean, Shy wanted the Stars, so we gave her the Stars. I didn't really care about the team name. I still don't care about the team name. And Ricky's going to be... That, that was the jump cut. And Ricky's also going to be on the Stars, but when Halo comes out, Ricky's going to move to the Halo, and he's going to do the Halo thing, so all three of us are going to be split at that point. Um, and Ryan's being dropped from the competitive team as far as I'm concerned because I basically already have a full team when Advanced Warfare comes out and I don't know if he wants to join Shy's team so that's something they can talk about that's not really my business um, but yeah the gameplay's coming to an end so if you guys want to try out for my uh, my team uh, it's going to be obviously higher base skill players than we have now in our current MLG team even though you haven't even seen any gameplay of that um, then please just send me a message on Xbox. My name is Kanto. Okay, okay, hold up. Oh, hold Ninja's up, going up. off right now. Did I just join to a chem strike? Kanto. <laughs> Kanto. 